Alright guys, Arduino tutorial number two. On the previous video, we went through all of the hardware on the Arduino Uno board. Uh, next thing is for us to go to the, to the Arduino site and download the IDE. Alright guys, so what you can do is you can open up any of your browsers and you're going to navigate to this site right here, www.arduino.cc. And we are going to come to this home page and we need the software. So we're going to go over here to this tab right here and click on software. Now there is a, an Arduino web editor, so you can use this on the web and then you can save your projects to the cloud. I'm going to download the actual program though, so I'm going to scroll down here. Um, and I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm going to use the Windows installer. So I'm clicking on this. Uh, and again, uh, this is put out for free, so if you'd like to donate, please go ahead. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to download. Okay, so I'm going to save this bad boy. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I'll pause while I'm downloading here. Okay, so I think it's finished here. So we'll just open this guy up. Open up the file. And click yes. So it says uh, that I already have it installed. Uh, Arduino version 1.8.4 is already installed. It must be uninstalled before you install this version. This one affects sketches or libraries in the sketch directory. Click OK to uninstall Yes, bus. Okay, so just going to uninstall my previous version. All existing files will be deleted. This includes files and folders present before or added since you installed the Arduino software. Uh, okay, so if you have previous sketches, it says it's not going to affect it, but um, you may want to have a backup of your sketches if you're doing this, if you have an older version. Okay, we'll just pause here as it just cleans everything up. All right, so we're just agreeing with the everything here. The view is we want to install the software. We're going to install the driver. Um, start menu shortcut. Sure, I don't need one on my desktop. Uh, and associate.ino files. Yes. Okay, so we're going to drop this guy in. So all you're doing is just installing it just like any, it's like installing a printer driver here. It just takes a little bit of time to get everything in, up and running. And once this guy is up and finished, then I'll show you how to open up the program and connect into your Arduino board. Let's pause here while this guy is going on in the background. Okay, it looks like everything's set up here. Let's go find the Arduino program now. So we'll open up our start menu. And here we have Arduino. Looks good. We'll open that guy up. Excellent. Hey, cool. So it keeps the same program that you're working on before. I was working on the fade program where you can turn an LED on and slowly fade it on and slowly fade it off. Okay, so let me do a picture in picture here and I'll bring up my actual Arduino board. So let me start the camera now. There we go. So now you can see our the board that I'm using, the Arduino Uno. Uh, and I'm now going to connect up the Arduino to my laptop. So I'm going to make use of the USB connector right here. And using the cable that's provided, I'm now going to tie that into my laptop here. Okay, so I've connected into the USB port. Uh, we saw no discernible change on the, the screen here. But let's see if we're actually talking to it. You can see that on the board here, uh, hopefully you can just make out that that LED right there has now turned on. So we can see that the board is now powered up through the 5 volts from the USB port. Uh, but let's go find this on our computer. So one way to see whether you're actually talking to the Arduino board uh, is to go down to your search menu and type in Device Manager. There we go. So we'll open up our control panel with our device manager here. Where'd it go? Come on, buddy. There we go. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to find uh, our ports here. So there's my ports right here. And I'm going to open this guy up right here. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so you can see there that uh, my Arduino is connected up to COM3. Okay, so again, we went to device manager. And now we're going to our ports. And we can see here that the Arduino is connected up to COM3. 
Okay, and our last thing that we're going to do now is we're just going to go back to the Arduino IDE. We're going to go to Tools, and we're going to scroll down here to Board, and we're going to see that the Arduino Uno is the one that's actually selected there. So we're using an Arduino Uno board. Uh, we can see here that that is the one that it's talking to. And we just saw that on our device manager that we were talking to port 3. So let's just confirm that we can see it. And if we go to port com, easy now, port com 3, we can see there that we're talking to the Arduino board through com 3. Excellent. So now you should have your Arduino IDE installed on your computer. Uh, you've been able to connect up your Arduino board. You've seen that this green LED is solidly on, telling you that you have power. Uh, and then we went into the device manager, saw which COM ports uh, were connected in. That wasn't entirely necessary. I just wanted to show you how you can tell which COM port is actually talking to your Arduino. And then we, on the ID, Arduino IDE, we went to tools and we went to board. We confirmed that we're talking to our Arduino Uno and that the port that we saw on the device manager matches what we're seeing here on the IDE. All right, guys, we'll stop there. We'll see you on the next video. In the next video, we'll start uh, hooking up some conductors or some leads onto our breadboard and we'll get the Arduino to start firing on an external LED. All right, we'll see you in the next video, guys.